First up at five, a human trafficking bust in Hernando County rescues two victims and lands this man in jail. He's accused of using another victim and a dating app to lure an underage girl to a house before giving her a so-called sex contract. It's a disturbing story. Indeed, Fox 13's Brianna Arredondo is live in Brooksville at the Hernando County Sheriff's Office there. Now, Brianna, detectives believe that this kind of thing has happened to a lot more people than they know about, right? Yeah, they say that it happens often, Chris, and that's why detectives say it is so important for parents to be aware of what is happening with their kids. They went looking for a runaway and ended up finding much more. Fernando County deputies are always on the lookout for runaways, but a call earlier this month led them to an alleged human trafficker. I can tell you from everyone I've talked to, they have described him as being extremely controlling and manipulative. Uh, in terms of how he treats women. Deputies arrested 56-year-old James Hollis for sexual battery, human trafficking, and more on July 11th. This person was uh, violent. They might even say sadistic. Just 24 hours before, Charlotte County called for help finding a teen. She took a ride share to a house on Pinehurst Drive in Spring Hill. Detectives say she was lured there through an online dating app, thinking she was talking with another girl. When she arrived, the suspect gave her this contract. Victim number two was made aware that by accepting the terms of the contract, she must perform any sexual act as demanded by the dominant, in this case, our suspect, as uh, she was his submissive. Deputies found not just an underaged victim, but another one at least 18 years old who was with the suspect at least a year. With human trafficking happening more than you may think, those who work to help survivors say new state laws take steps in the right direction. We need to, to gain more ground. We need to, to need to talk more about what causes these sorts of situations, uh, particularly with adult trafficking survivors. Now both survivors are in safe places and getting the help they need. Beginning they might say, oh, I'm not really, I'm not a survivor, you know, something I did is not something, you know, that was put upon me. But they're just at the beginning stages of their actual healing process. And another clue that tipped off detectives in this whole case, they say that the suspect has moved about 53 times since 1980 from the West Coast to the East Coast. And so they say that they believe there could be more victims out there. Chris? Just absolutely terrible uh, that this kind of thing goes on, but good on the detectives in this case that they were able to stop this human trafficking operation and save no many, no telling how many other victims that could have been lured into the same trap. Thank you, Brianna.